You know, this has got to be Attack the Black Man Month. And we just, you know, heard about the whole Ray, Ray Rice thing, excuse me, uh, with him, you know, um, so-called be known as woman and, you know, people not looking at the overall perspective of it and, and, and looking at it from different angles. And now you got running back Adrian Peterson that's in the news right now for uh, so-called child abuse. Then this morning, you know, we had Chris Carter come out and, you know, basically get emotional and, you know, talk about his childhood and how, you know, he didn't come out directly and say it, but what he really was saying was that, you know, <laughs> I don't mean to laugh at the brother, but, you know, his mom probably whooped his ass, you know, and he probably, you know, I don't really know how he was a kid, but, you know, he might have been one of them hard-headed kids that, um, you know, need his ass whooped, you know, and, and, you know, we do have children out there like that, but when he was saying his quote-unquote emotional speech, you could tell that, you know, this is a grown man that really hasn't got over getting disciplined physically as a child. I mean, you know, it was all in his face, and, you know, he was very, um, you know, I would say determined to get his point across when he was on the show this morning. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and play the video for you guys, but, uh, you know, <laughs> I'm going to just go ahead and play the video for you guys. I hope you guys can hear because the volume is a little shaky. My mom did the best job she could do, raising seven kids by herself. But there are thousands of things that I have learned since then that my mom was wrong. Yes. Thank you. This is the 21st century. My mom was wrong. She did the best she could, but she was wrong about some of that stuff she taught me. And I promised my kids I won't teach that mess to them. You can't be the kid to make them do what they want to direct. Yeah, speak to Chris. Thank you. Thousands of things we have learned since then. And now we're to the point, the only thing I'm proud about is the team that I played for. They did the right thing. Yes. Take them off the field. I don't care what, we're in a climate right now, I don't care what it is. Take them off the dang on field. Because you know what, as a man, that's the only thing we really respect. We don't respect no women. We don't respect no kids. The only thing Roger and them do, take them off the field. Because they respect them. Okay, uh... <laughs> you know... First of all, I want to say that, you know, I grew up in a, a single-parent household, too, you know, and I was blessed to actually see both sides of the fence, you know, like I was expressed in previous of my videos, you know, um, I got to see what it was like to live in a two-parent household and see what it was like to live in a single-parent household, but I, I, I grew up and I had more um, experience living within a single-parent household than I did a two-parent, and you know, to this day, me being uh, 27 years old, you know, I, I thank my mother for the guidance she gave me. And, you know, I thank her for, you know, those ass whoopings and those times where, you know, I got out of line and she had to discipline me. Or she had to, um, you know, basically take on a lot of the, 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 or try to take on a lot of the things that, you know, my father was supposed to um, take on in my life. And, you know, when it comes to children... You really have to know what type of child you're dealing with because we have, you know, children out here who, uh, are, you know, are more hard-headed than other children. They don't really understand or get the message until you tap that ass. Then we have children who, you know, every now and then, you, you know, you might have to discipline them physically, but sometimes you can sit back, you can talk to them, you can have a conversation, and the child will get it. And I was a child like that, you know. My mom, yeah, there was times where I got my ass whooped. You know, uh, and, 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 you know, my father figure in my life was my grandfather. So, you know, if, if it was a situation where my mother felt like I need to be disciplined from a man or, or, or I need to be talked to by a man, she'd pick up the phone, call my grandfather. You know, if he had to come over there and whoop my ass, you know, that that's what he did. He, he, he'd do because he was the, 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 the male role model in my life when I was a child. So, you know, I, when, when you look at it, you really have to really look at what, what what the kid did first of all. You have to really analyze what type of child this kid is, and you you have to look at the overall picture. Black men here in America, 
we are targeted day in and day out. Black people in general are targeted, but especially black men. And in our household, we have to be taught things and, and, and taught how to handle certain situations at a very young age. You know, I can remember my uncles, you know, like I, again, like I've expressed um, in previous videos, I have an uncle that was part of the Black Panther Party. He, you know, he walked and was one of the right hand mans to Huey P. Okay, and, and you know, I was taught about racism and, 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 you know, discrimination and, you know, how to deal with certain things, how to deal with the law at a very young age. Because as black men, as especially as a young black man, you have to be taught these things. You know, we black black young men cannot be brought up the same way as a white young man because they they deal with two different things. Yeah, they both have penises. Yes, they have, you know, two eyes and ears and they're considered males, but the things they're going to deal with in their life is going to be completely different. Timmy is not going to understand what DeAndre goes through on a day-to-day -day basis. So it's important for him you know, especially the black fathers out there too. Make sure you have that firm hand. Discipline your young men when they get out of line. Because what's going to happen is if you don't, and we go by the standards that white society wants us to go by, that you know that timeout shit, or you know, uh, uh you know, I'm gonna take your Xbox away and all that that type of bullshit. A lot of times that does not. Relevate the, the message that needs to be told to a lot of our young black males out here. And it's better for Adrian Peterson to di to uh, discipline his son before the law disciplines him. You might need that ass whooping to save you later down the line. You might need to be disciplined or talked to or, or, or possibly have, have something taken away from you to help you down the line. So the way... Black kids are brought up in this country. It's completely different than anybody else, any other ethnicity around the world. Because of the things that we are going to deal with in our lives. And just like I said, you know, when I was a child at the age of seven, you know, and probably even earlier than that, I knew about racism. I knew about discrimination. I knew about the things that were going on in my community. I knew about... The fluctuation of you know a uh, uh, black single parent parenting that's going on out here. I knew about uh, the, uh, the economical uh, situation that we deal with here in this country. I knew a lot of different aspects of, at a very young age about the black community. And that was because my family put that in me. They gave me that knowledge so that when I became 13, 14, you know, uh, 17, 21, 25, I knew how to conduct myself in the world. I knew how to listen, watch, observe, so I know when somebody's being racist to me when they're discriminating against me. And today, a lot of people, especially, you know, within my generation, they don't even know how to pick up insults or selective punishment. Or racism. They think, you know, we live in this hunky-dory world. Or, you know, we live in a post-race society. Or because they can go and move into a white neighborhood. Or they can, you know, uh, earn a certain amount of salary. Or they're playing in the NFL or the NBA. Or they're able to drive a certain car. That we've somehow got past racism here in this country. Or it's not that big of a deal. And it is. Racism and, and discrimination is, is right in front of us. So as... A young black male, you have to be taught and you have to be dis disciplined in a certain way to where you are able to have a strong mindset and be comfortable with yourself as a man to be able to adapt to society and all the, 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 the hatred and ills that's going to come upon you. So, you know, I mean, I didn't jump head first out, you know, with this situation because I did want to get more um, information before I really came out here and voiced my opinion. And, you know, I did see the pictures that, um, you know, were posted online and through social media or whatever. The, the quote-unquote pictures of um, the aftermath of Adrian Peterson's son. And he had some whelps, you know, I believe. And, you know, it was a little blood showing or whatever. And like I said, we don't, you know, really know the, the, the extent to what the young man actually did. You know, I mean, I, I can remember... You know, I remember, you know, I tell this joke a lot. Um, I played a joke one time, you know, on my mother. And, and, and you know, I told her that uh, her car had got stolen. And, <laughs> you know, this is a brand new car. And, and you know, um, 
you know, my, my mother got really irate about that. You know, she was upset, you know, and, and, and I waited a little too late to say, hey, you know, I'm just playing, you know, it was a joke. And she tore my ass up, you know, <laughs> because the, 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 the mindset and the agony and the stress and everything that came with that, it frustrated her. And it angered her. So for me to come out and say I was joking, and especially the length of time I waited to come out and say it was a joke, that made her angry. And she whooped my ass. And I got, I got a pretty ass, good ass whooping for that, you know, that incident. But, you know, it, it's, it's things like that that shape us into being a young man that we are, being a young ladies that, you know, we are here in society. Because, you know, it, it's a different situation, a different world that, blacks have to operate in here in America. And, you know, when we get brothers like this, you know, coming out and, and, and you know, condemning Adrian Peterson and not really, you know, uh, expressing the ins and outs and outs and ins of the whole situation, I, I have an issue with that. And, you know, like I said, you Chris Carter is entitled to his own opinion. Okay, but don't come out here, you know, if you're going you're gonna to speak on your mom and, you know, her tearing your ass up, you know, or you still butt hurt about an ass whooping you got back in 77, hey, that you can express that on the show. You can voice your opinion, but also talk about the things that young black males have to deal with here in this country and how we have to, you know, be quick on the draw and be disciplined at a young age before the police do. And not saying that, you know, a lot of our young black men are, uh, uh, men are uh, uh, animals or we go out here and we destroy things. But see, when a black male does something, we get five, ten years in prison. White boy can do the same crime, he get a slap on the wrist. Might have to do community service, if that. We see what's going on in the NFL, how they have selective punishment for certain football players of color. So it's like, you know, if you're going to come out here and voice your opinion, you talk about the full spectrum. Don't come out here and cry and whine, you know, and, and basically uh, jump on, on, on the bandwagon of black folks who, who didn't don't really understand what an ass whooping did for them later on in life. Don't jump on that bandwagon, but then you're not talking about what black males have to actually deal with here in this country and why we need to be disciplined and educated at a very young age about things that maybe a white person don't learn about until they get in college, if that. So, I mean, you know, that's my two cents on it. You know, um, I, I felt like Adrian Peterson, you know, we, we don't have no right to tell that brother how to raise his children. You know, nobody's feeding his child. You know, if they, if they get homeless tomorrow, I wonder how many, how many of these same cats is going to help Adrian Peterson out. When when, when, when he got to have food on that table, clothes on that child back, and, and, and et cetera, et cetera, how many of these people going to be around? Or he going to sit at the table and say, oh, man, that's sorry, man. You know, I, I feel sorry for him. I hope he get back on his feet. Not damn one of these motherfuckers going to come out and help him. So I think we need to be very cautious of, of how we ridicule black people in the media, especially black men. Don't tell that brother how to raise his, his child. Now, he, he didn't take an iron and, and burn the boy or, you know, put a gun in the boy head, nothing like that. He, he whooped his ass. And he did what he had to do as a father. That's the way I was raised. That's how a lot of other brothers out here were raised. Uh, us that had strong male positive role models in our life, whether you grew up in a two-parent household or whether you grew up in a, in a single-parent household. But see, you got a lot of these pussy-fired dudes out here that, you know, really haven't developed fully as a man and understand the world we live in, and they come out here and, 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 and they critique things in the wrong way. But that's all I got to say. You guys can give me your opinion whether you felt like Adrian Peterson was wrong or you felt like, you know, he was just disciplining his child. But I'm out.